everybody. Happy Friday. I am just getting ready to make myself a wasa cracker with cheese and I just love those. It's a beautiful day today. It's nice and cloudy and I love cloudy summer days. It just, it just cools things down just a skosh. It's a little muggy, but that's okay. But I don't know what we're gonna do after I eat my cracker. So here is the wasa cracker. I like the whole grain, but they have sourdough, multigrain, um, I think they have sesame seed. They have many different kinds, but I find the whole grain stays crispy when you put cheese on it and put it in the microwave. I just love the whole grain. I love it. And another thing I love is Walmart shredded Colby Monterey Jack cheese. It is pure bliss. It melts so thick and creamy. I gotta hand it to Walmart. Their cheese is the best. So I'm just gonna, I'm doing laundry right now. That's, if you hear anything crazy in the background. Okay, I have to have a finger full of cheese. Mm. I'm just gonna nuke this until the cheese is melted. Here it is, everybody. It's not fully all the way melted, but it is melted enough. And I'm even gonna have this last swig of Coke. I don't know, we opened this about four days ago. But that's okay. Hey, I put you up on a tripod. That way you won't be so shaky. Check that out. It just came clean off my plate. The air conditioner's on right by my feet. And it's cold. I was so hungry. It's 1.44. So. Mm. See my little plant? in a little Dollar Tree dish, a little plastic one. I think it came in a four pack or a three pack. I don't even remember. Probably a four pack for a dollar. There's little plastic dishes. They look like crystal. One of you suggested that I put that plant in a bowl of water because it has to be watered every single day and I forgot to water it last weekend and it died except for a few strands. And so one of you suggested to put it in a bowl of water. And that way I don't have to worry about it for a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm doing. Duh, why didn't I think that? Because I don't have a green thumb. I don't have house plants unless it's a, what is it? What's it called? I forgot, but the kind that never die, like over there. Mm. I'm trying to think, is this up high enough? Oh, okay. So today I have all my Smashbox Vlada Pedal Power palette. I don't know, I just had to have it and then I never wear it because I think it's too peach. But then I get out in the kitchen and it's not that bad. But in my bathroom, the lighting is kind of more on the orange side. And so everything looks different. I have to keep that in mind. So right now I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I like my eyeshadow. I don't know.
because I was like, man, what a waste of $28, but. Oh well, I like it right now in front of the window. I guess I could always put my makeup on upstairs in my office in the window, like when I do my get ready with me videos. But I don't want to travel up there the whole with all my stuff. So, anyway, Daryl, for the last two nights, has pulled up so many huge weeds out of the grass. Well, it's not even grass, it's just hay and hard clay. No, no, no! no. And, um, so I don't know if we're gonna go out to dinner tonight with our friends or if he's gonna stay home and pull more weeds. I bet you money we don't go out to dinner. Oh well. And my lipstick is LA Colors from the Dollar Tree in the color Sorbet. I love it. I love it. Seriously, the best makeup can only can just be a dollar sometimes. She wants to go outside. It would be a good time to let her out because it's not it's not sunny. But I I'll, I'll never get her back in the house. I wanted to show you for now I just put some towels on the backs of my couch I used to do this a long time ago but they kept slipping off and they would like slip on our heads and it was just a pain in the butt and so I ended up taking them off which I shouldn't have done because then my couch got even worse but I wanted to show you I thought of something so I put I had some of this extra rubber shelf liner and so I put it on the backs of the chair and it doesn't slip off the couch and the towel doesn't slip off the rubber thing. It's perfect. I just, why didn't I think of that before? Anyway, that is my, my hack for the day. Alrighty, everybody. Well, I decided, well, I was thinking, where is one place that I haven't been in a very long time? Can you guess? Kohl's. I have not been to Kohl's for a very long time. And I have a 30% off coupon that's good through the weekend. So why not go to Kohl's and just look around? I don't need anything. Nor do I want anything. But it's likely that I would get anything or something anyway. So, whatever. We're just gonna go piddle fart at the Coles and see what they've got. So I wanted to let you know, last night I went jogging and I actually did it outside and not on the treadmill. And I did quite well, I must say. I did the two mile loop that I always go, but of course I just did it intermittent, intermittently. Like I jog, walk, jog, walk, but I jogged more than I walked. So that's a plus. And I feel so good. I just feel so good. But I don't know how people can run and not ever stop. 
And I wasn't running, I was doing jogging. And I wasn't just jogging, I was doing little tiny baby jog. Like, I was doing itty bitty jogging, but I did it. And I'm proud of myself. And I'm gonna do it again tonight. Especially since it's nice and cloudy. That's the best. And I also took my little chili towel with me. It's it's called it's called a chillet or a chili towel. I don't know. I got it for Daryl a few years ago and he's never ever used it once and neither had I and so I took it last night and it's just one of those chamois things and you get it wet you wring it out and then it stays wet and cold for a really long time of course by the time I got home some of it was already dried out but I used that and I just put it around my neck and then I tucked the ends into my shirt because it was falling off I had to tuck it in that helped so much so go get you a chili towel. I ended, I got mine at Hallmark and it was on sale for like eight or ten dollars. So I don't know. I don't know where you'd get them now or what, but I tell ya, it sure saved me. So anyway, let's, let's get on with it to the coals, shall we? Well, Kohl's was a bust. They had nothing, 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 which is good, good, good. But yeah, they didn't have very good sales at all. And their clearance was kaka. And they just didn't have a lot of variety in styles. I don't know. But yeah. Coles was lame today. Not to mention my back hurts. My nerves are getting pinched and like my left arm and my legs are starting to like not get tingly or anything, but you know, get kind of feel kind of cold and kind of weird.
and I'm like limping around. So, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't even know where I'm going now. I probably should have turned the other way. Not to mention I have to go number two. <laughs> I wasn't really gonna say that and it, it came out. I was gonna say like I have to go to the bathroom, but number two just came out, so. It is what it is. I'm just being real. Um, let's see. I kind of want to go into Michael's even though I don't need or want anything. But they are having a huge sale. But my back is killing me. I just don't know. I hope I can go out jogging tonight. Because I really want to. But I don't know. I might not. I just don't know. Dude, I love this shirt. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love this shirt so much. It covers my bat wings. Oh my gosh. That's just bad. That is so bad. That's wrong. Not just some. So I paid fifteen dollars for like thirty dollars worth of beads. But first of all, I bought this cute little jar because I'm going to put my ice cream spoons in it, and this was only a dollar. And so here, some of these are repeats. I already have some, but oh, look, there's a blue bead in there. Um. So these are gold, but they're like a really light satin gold. And so I got a small one and a little regular size one. Then I got these here. This is like cobalt blue. And then this is like pink and blue and hot pink all together. 
And then here's a really cool color. It's kind of like a, I don't know, blue, green, gray, I don't know, teal. And then I already have one of these, but I got another one. It's teeny, teeny, tiny black beads, and they're faceted. They're so cute. I wish they would do faceting in all of their beads, but they don't. Just this black pair. And then I just got some clear beads. I have a whole bunch of clear beads, but these are a little small. They're smaller and more uniform. And then same with these. I have a bunch of these from Walmart, but... These are a little smaller and just a little more uniform. They're just tiny and they fit well together. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's all I got. But that was fun. All right, I finished Daryl's dirty clothes. These were the clothes that he wore when he was digging up the weeds. And so I washed them so that he would have some fresh ones to wear the next time he pulls weeds because they were ripe. So I need to pull all these out and fold them. I tell you what, my back is killing me. It is killing me. Oh, I don't know if I'll be jogging tonight. And these things have been in my way all day. Where did the other one go? Here it is. And when I, where did it go? And when I have to use the bathroom, I have to fling them over my shoulder like this so they won't be in the way. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> oh. Anyway, first world problems. This is an old washcloth that we clean up cat yak with. Finally got those washed. Kitchen towels. Oh, here's another cat yak rag. This is from Dollar Tree. It is threadbare. I bought it at first to be in the kitchen, but it didn't do a good job cleaning. Like when I wiped tables and counters, it left big streaks. So I'm like, eh, that can clean up, throw up. All right, so Daryl's got nice, clean work clothes. Hey you guys, these are my precious ice cream spoons that I received from a very sweet subscriber. And I got this little votive at the Dollar Tree because I thought it'd be just the perfect thing, but it's not the perfect thing. It's just a little too big. It's too wide. So I thought this would be really good for those spoons. I hope so. It was only a dollar. And I, it's so cute how the little lid can just hang down. Oh, that's cute. That looks cuter. Oh, that's just so precious. That's perfect. Now, oh, that's kind of ugly. Um, they had a different one for $1.69 that just, it didn't, it was, it had a clear lid. It was exactly like this jar, but the lid was clear and I almost got it. And then I saw this for a dollar and I thought, oh, that's cute. But now that the lid's hanging down like that, it doesn't look cute. It's kind of ugly. That's all right. It's okay. Maybe I can put it, turn it that direction where it's less noticeable. I don't know. That's okay. I can always go back and get the other one. It's only $1.69. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I probably will. Because that just looks... That reminds me of a, a bedpan or something. I don't know. Like a mini bedpan. But anyway, that's cute. Okay.
Dollar Tree Treaties are the best. Hey, Mola, you finished already? my snack not this I have to put this in my empties but I am getting some soda crackers these are the Zesta they come in the red box by Keebler and then some natural peanut butter even though it says natural it is totally fattening and full of sugar it's not like the circus kind where it's hardly any sugar and you have to stir it up this is just straight up sugar but that's all right. I'm watching the, I think it's the last Ghost Adventures of the day. There might be one more on today. Saturdays they always have marathon. Yeah, I gave up my Christmas movies for Ghost Adventures. That's what I do. This one's just sitting here begging for crackers. That one's over there snooping in my beads. I'm so excited because I thought this was the last week of Christmas movies on the regular Hallmark Channel for the last two weeks. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Seriously, she almost sat on you. It's tilted, sorry. But for the first two weeks, the Christmas shows were on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. And now this week and next week through the 28th is Christmas Movies on the regular Hallmark Channel. And I thought that they were only going to play them for just a week on this channel. But it's two weeks, so like almost the whole month of July. This isn't really what I wanted, but we don't got nothing. This isn't what I want. I don't know what I want.
And he brought home this bag of chocolate cake. It is so good. He had birthdays at his work. painted my nails and they're very very skin color and this is Pandora and this is Zoya and this is my very favorite color ever next to this Mademoiselle by Essie but I decided to do this and this is almost empty I've had it for several years and I always paint my toes with it but today I wanted to paint my fingers with it and I just love it. So I need to buy another bottle of this Pandora. Pollo Loco. <laughs> and I am going to have a BRC burrito, which is beans, rice, and chicken. And I'm going to have a crunchy taco, which is just a crunchy chicken taco. And then Daryl's going to have a chicken avocado burrito. So, yeah. That's what we're having. It is, what time is it? Going on seven o'clock. And, oh for heaven's sakes. There. I'm serious, I'm all thumbs. Um. I don't even know what I was saying, we're just, so we're just going there. Oh yeah, it's going on seven o'clock. So my back feels better now. So I'm hoping to still go out and jog tonight. I just hope I don't have a bunch of rice and beans and chicken bouncing up and down in me. <laughs> hopefully I'll be done with dinner by then. I mean, hopefully it'll be sort of digesting and and you know I can't drive and talk at the same time okay so maybe so here's my nails I just love this color it's just the most perfect color I've got to get another bottle Ulta might have it I can't remember if I've, if I've seen that one at Ulta or a different one, but I know you can still order online, like through the Zoya website. So that's what I'm going to do if I have to, because I love it. Love, love, love it. It's almost all gone. So my burrito looks like a big old baked potato or a little loaf of bread.
Beans, chicken, and iron beans. Rice and cheese. Good. I haven't hit the beans yet. No, they gave us some weird tom tomatillo sauce or something. Salsa stuff. Lola! Hello? Hello? Hey everybody, welcome to closet time. The girls are out in the front room with daddy. I just got back from jogging and I'm so proud of myself. I did even better than yesterday. It like gets easier and easier every time. <laughs> and I'm sweating like a pig. And so I just thought I'd hurry up and do closet time. Well, I still have the energy, but here is what I was talking about. It's my chili towel. It's chili on my willy. And it looks like this. And it's quite long. And it's been dried out. It's drying out a little bit, but it's ice cold. It stays ice cold. And it just feels so good. And it doesn't get moldy. It doesn't get bacteria in it. It doesn't stink. And so this is how I wear it when I run. And I put it like this because it falls off if I don't do that. And so I just kind of look all, look at that mess. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing when I jog and people see me, but hopefully they realize it's my chilly willy. Um, so yeah, I am soaking wet. Oh my gosh, like I am so wet. I don't know, but. Um, it sure feels good to do this. It sucks to have to do it, but I'm blessed to be able to do it, and I'm just grateful I can do it. And I feel so much better, you guys. I don't have any more bloating. I'm completely bloat-free. Thank you for suggesting that carrageenan stuff being hard on my stomach, because that has to be what it is, because my bloating started months ago when I started drinking that Carnation Instant Breakfast drink every day. We're talking months like last February, okay? So I've been bloated all this time and it just got worse and 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 worse. And now I'm completely bloat free. It's been so nice. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go because this video today is very long. I have to edit it. Right now it's like at 47 minutes. <laughs> So I have to edit it down. But I hope you had a fun Friday. Thanks for hanging out with me. Tomorrow's Saturday. I'm not sure what we're doing. Probably nothing. So I will try to vlog tomorrow. Just depends on if I can do anything worthwhile. Anyway, I just love ya.
Thanks for watching. And have a wonderful sleepy. And we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. I was doing a little tiny baby jog. Like, do, 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 do.